Hello everybody! In the game any person is randomly generated from the perks to the profession they execute. Now how we all know that if we manage to find a character that has the video game designer job, we will unlock the meta gaming achievement. The problem is that in the Watch Dogs Legion there are also some sectors of the map that have higher probability to spawn more often the characters with a specific profession. Therefore, it will decrease the chances to get the video game designer in the biggest part of the map. So, feel free to lose a few hours without finding any video game designer. But you have to know that there is a little trick to speed up the process and obtain the achievement in less than 30 minutes, and if you are lucky, in only 7. But for a start, don't forget to leave a like if you will find this guide useful. It costs nothing with respect to the time you will save thanks to this video. Also, if you want more professional tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe with notification on. This way you will get a notification when some other cool tutorials will be out on the channel. Anyway, back to the topic. The trick consists in just starting a new game. Considering that you have free save game slots, you can just use one of them in order to not overwrite your main save. The reason why you need to do so is because at the end of the intro you have to choose one operative between 15 candidates that for sure has different jobs. Plus, it didn't have any preferences, so you have a good chance to get the video game designer even with the first try. Personally, I found him after the fifth try and got the achievement immediately after. If you follow this guide, you will be able to speedrun the intro in less than 7 minutes. In fact, I spent only 35 minutes to get the achievement this way. While I wasted over 2 hours searching him around the city without even finding one. Anyway, to speedrun the intro, after you click on new game and choose an empty slot to use, you need to select the easy mode with permadeath off. This is because the hacking process is faster and the enemy get easily killed as well. Then, when we will start the cutscene, press any button to see in the bottom right corner the button you need to press in order to skip the intro. Now, constantly spawn the skip button until the game will start. Next, run until the end of the corridor and before entering the main room, crouch in order to be able to take down the guard in the first room. Then, continue your journey until the second closed door that you need to unlock. Here the fastest way is to jump to the right before getting to the door and knock out the first guard you will see in front of a box. If you get the right timing, the next guard will just turn to the right when you come, allowing you to knock him down immediately after. Then, when you go upstairs, if you didn't get spotted, use the panel to unlock the door and then knock out the guard to be sure to not alert him. Now climb over the fenced area, then do the same with the stairs. In the next room you can skip the combat with the next guards by going to the right until the first small bomb in the middle. Then you need to turn to the left and quickly pass behind the guard that is going to the right. Then to avoid the second guard continue going to the left until the room wall. If you get the right timing the last guard will just turn away from the exit that you can use. Once here, you can run till the next door. Once in and will start the ladder climbing animation, just spam the skip button, this way you will get in a few seconds in the room where you have to disable the bomb. After you interact with the panel, start spamming the skip interaction again. That will bring you to the point you have to survive the ambush. In the easy mode, you will easily kill anyone and you can take a lot of damage without dying. So, be enough quick in order to kill them all before the bomb will be disarmed. Once the loading is close to 100%, get close to the terminal and spawn the skip interaction. The next phase is to use your scan ability to spot any cameras that will allow you to hack one of the two cameras on the left where you have to download the key. Now, use the character wheel in order to change your weapon to the MP5 that you will need to kill fast all the enemies in the next room. Once done, just run out to the end of this room and interact with the panel, following by the spamming the skip button. This will bring us to the small cutscene we can skip, followed by taking the control of the camera where we can hijack the spider drone. 
Use it to go to the next room and look to the right wall to hack the panel. While the loading is processing, go to the end of the room. This way, once the hacking will end, you will get up without need to jump on the first platform. Then, once on the next area, hack the first terminal and go directly to the next one, clock side, after the animation is ended. Repeat the process till you enable also the last terminal, that will trigger the server in the middle. Now, just hack it when it will come down, and you will be allowed to select a new character. Check any single character in the selection, and if you didn't find the video game designer, just select anyone and after the small cutscene, go back to the main menu and override the save with the new game. Repeat this process until you finally get the video game designer, select it and enjoy your achievement.